Let's get them ready, you know. Uh, let's get them ready for them. Uh, they're a good team, so I play hard. Possibly, can you put in today that will that you can get your time for tomorrow? Um, it's pretty hard, you know. You gotta get, you gotta rest your body. You know, so you find one. You gotta definitely uh, recover from the game the other night. You know, I got a game tomorrow, so we want to recover and then also try to get some work. So I think we did a good job today. You're in the same boat. Is that, I mean, they played late and have the same. What does that do? Is that equalizing? I mean, you know, even if they play early, it don't matter. You just gotta, you gotta win. There's really no excuses. There's really no excuses at this point. You just gotta go out there and like I said. You know, after all the emotion of the Oklahoma City series, harder now that this first game against Utah, there was probably won't be the emotion you had in the first series. It wasn't that much emotion. It was just basketball, really. You know, even when we lost, it was still just playing basketball. It wasn't really, uh, it wasn't really paying with the word or anything. The Jazz don't really have like a dominant uh, wing score like the Thunder had Durant. Is there, is there a chance that you could be guarding Williams at times in this series? Um, we didn't talk about that. Yeah, possibly. You know, from the NBA side coaches call. You know, um, as of right now, we're starting regular, you know, one guard to one, two guard to two, three guard to three. Yep. And then, um, yeah, season nine. Could you have uh, done anything on the ramp? I mean, that's the stat show, you pretty much held it down. I don't know. Yeah, happy with that. I'm not sure. What, 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 I'm not sure what I could have done any better. Mm-hmm. Probably. I don't know. Maybe probably, you know, you always improve. You always, you always, you always kind of find a way to improve, but, um, I didn't look at the final numbers on, on, what, he, on what he's done. Um, I didn't even think about it until just now. But. Any disappointment you'll get from Melo instead of you know, you're going to get the uh, Lou Namer, so to speak? No, I mean, just move on. You know, because you know, they had their chance to, you know, to, to advance. And because it happens, you know, Utah was the better team. So, I mean, they did. Obviously, they're pretty good. You know, um, like I said before, it wasn't about the win, it was about Oklahoma City. It's not about any other individual player is going to be about the team. Lakers versus, uh, Lakers versus Jazz, you know. Not so much one-on-one. Uh, even when the home series, they were setting screens on me left and right, and I was also going to help, you know, on the screens. And then um, Drew blocked some shots, so he immediately went from Ron Tess and Durant to, you know, uh, two-on-two, so. Because you, guys, because you guys have had success against them in the regular season, do you think that, that helps? You know, entering them in the postseason? I mean, that, don't make, that don't really mean anything. You know, last year, uh, Lakers beat the Rockets 4-0, and then we went to game seven in the playoffs. So, anytime you got veterans on the other team, veterans and young players, you know, young athletes and, and, and good veterans, you know, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to be a tough task. Ron, you're wearing, wearing that padded shirt last night. How's your shoulder going? Did you okay. hear a dollar? It's okay. It's okay. When did you first hurt it? Was it like Well, I can't remember. I just woke up one morning and my shoulder was hurt. And I said, you know, I, you know, I mean, I think it was like a bruise. Um, Gary Vee said it was bruised. So I'll probably wear like one more game. Or well, I probably won't even wear it next game. But uh, I made it through that Oklahoma series, you know, and then I uh, felt pretty good today. I shot without it today. So tomorrow I should be um, not wearing it. So is, is, is there actually a pad in that thing? It was actually like a, it was a pad, yes. Yes, it was a two pad. Like, it's still like a basketball shoulder pad. But basically, yes. Or bubble wrap. Yes. <laughs> bubble wrap would have worked. <laughs> bubble wrap would have probably been better. <laughs> <laughs> is it going back playing Sunday after the series just ended Friday? How hard is that physically on you guys, especially the guys you've been around a long time? Like well, you know, obviously when we had that two days off, that was great. And it helped us out and it showed in the, it showed in the road game. It showed at home and then it showed on the road. So tomorrow we got to tough it out. We got to tough it out. But we'll be okay, you know. Um, we're home, sleeping on our own beds. You know, that's a great job. I'm not sure if Utah, was in Utah when they won? Yeah. Oh, so it, should, it shouldn't be that bad of a travel. You know, for them, same travel. So, pretty much even Steven. For the most part. What did you guys learn from the Oklahoma series? You know, the lot of game three, game four. The back on defense, then we, uh, I think we executed better in um, game three. I mean, on um, game five. And then in um, game six. 
played better on the road. It's a good team, young team, but a good team. And they showed that. You know, that shot goes down. We, we played Sunday against them. Oklahoma. What do you carry from that series into this series? Well, we gotta you know, hustle and not take anybody for granted. I think that's the main thing. That's the main thing. Not taking anybody for granted. Respect everybody.